I've made my way out to Mallorca, to the Palma Velodrome, where the very first UCI Track Champions League is taking place. A brand new track cycling format with the very best track riders in the business. And there is so many cool bikes and tech here, and I'm going to take a snoop round and see what I can find. bit of cool tech that I found is on this Argon 18. Now these bikes have been custom painted for the Canadian national team and as you can tell it's got the maple leaf on here and on the forks and a nice little one on the front of the bars. Another thing you might be wondering is these. What are these on the pedals? Well, these are basically toe straps and most of the sprinters here will have them on their bikes and they basically ensure that the foot is secure to the pedals because these sprinters put out an insane amount of power and sometimes their foot can come out the pedal because they're just not strong enough. So they add these onto the bike and they're actually just put on with some zip ties. So I will not like that. And then sprinters put their shoes in there and then tighten up the straps. But you do have to be confident in your unclipping skills because you're not getting your foot out of that in a rush. Now I might be biased, but this has to be one of the best looking bikes here. Look at the paint job on this bike. So this is the bike of the Italian national team. And this is one of the sprinters bikes. And I think the handlebars on this bike just top it off. All in this blue, shiny color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Another very popular piece of equipment here and something that we're seeing quite a lot of is the integrated cranks. Very aerodynamic, so not fully integrated into the chainring because obviously the riders on the track are changing the chainrings quite often depending on what event they're doing, but yeah, nice bit of equipment. Be Cool and Cycle are also here as partners of the event and they've got this really cool warm-up area that the athletes can come and warm up or cool down after the event, jump on the bike and be in a virtual velodrome. How cool is that? Now you might have seen Ollie's recent video at the Ruler event where he showed you these brand new Wahoo Kicker rollers. Now they haven't actually been released to the public yet, but they are testing them here at this event on the best riders in the world. We've got world champions and Olympic champions. And let me tell you, some of these sprinters are putting out some insane power. So they really are being put to the test. So on the road, it's quite common to see handlebar tape. On the track, you've got quite a few different options. You could opt for handlebar tape, you could opt for grips, or you could opt for a bit of grip tape. And this is basically borderline sandpaper. And I'm not sure about having this on your road bike, but on the track, it kind of makes sense. It's obviously quite thin, so it's aerodynamic. So this is a sprinter's bike and they've opted for grip tape and that's a good option. They're not going to be spending hours and hours on the bike and getting cut hands from the grip tape. And obviously when they get out of the saddle to sprint and throw the bike around, they're going to have ultimate grip on the bars. These are a little bit different to ones we usually see as they flare out just as the bars start to drop. And this is basically to ensure airflow is nice and smooth around the hand area as well. So these are the bars of Olympic silver medalist in the Omnium at the Tokyo Games. And they wouldn't actually tell me how wide or how narrow, should I say, these bars are. But as you can see, I can nearly touch with just one hand. They are super narrow. And as you can see, the handlebars are actually lower than the tyre. So these riders are pushing themselves to extreme positions. And the coach is telling me they, they spend hours in the wind tunnel, dying in the position and getting these handlebars made. It's not only about the bike. So I've managed to get my hands, or should I say feet, on these custom carbon shoes by Simmons Racing. And these are actually Emily Kay's shoes. And she's here with me now. And she's going to explain to me how these shoes were made, because these are custom made to your feet. Yep, so these are bespoke to my feet. Um, so to do that, I had to plaster cast my own feet. So I started by Vaseline in my feet, um, then nice. wrapping them in plaster cast and then putting pressure down to get um, an exact casting of my feet. Um, I then send them off to America, uh, to Simmons Racing, um, and then they make they then make the fully custom carbon shoes for me, um, so yeah. So I couldn't wear them? They wouldn't fit my feet? No. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Do, do you also mind me asking how much these cost? Because, uh, I mean, they look pretty fancy. Yeah, these are about $2,000, so... $2,000? Worth it for the gains, though. Yeah, to be fair, they do look fast. 
So you might be wondering what this contraption is on the bike. So this is on every single bike this year. We've got a camera down here that's going to give us all the action into the racing as it's happening. And up here we've got a sensor underneath the seat. So this is going to give us all the live data from the riders. It's going to give us power data, heart rate, the position in the race, cadence and speed. And the really cool thing about this event is that there's an app that you can download that you can follow along at home or if you're here watching and you can see all the live data from the rider so you can see exactly what power they're hitting in the sprint. The app isn't actually launched for this event, they're just testing it here today, but for round two in Lithuania it will be live and ready so you can catch all the action on the app. Alex has also done a deep dive into the app and all the sensors and equipment used at this event, so go check that video out. Another really cool thing about the Track Champions League is the lighting and the graphics on the track. So when the riders are racing, it'll come up with all the names and what race it is. And sometimes track racing can be a little bit confusing, lots of different riders, and it's hard to know who's in the lead. But with all these lights and graphics, they're going to be able to identify what rider is in the lead in the race. And this behind me is where it all happens. It looks very complicated and very techy. And there's a screen right there that says, do not touch. And I really want to touch it. There you have it. There's some of the coolest bits of tech I could find here at the Track Champions League. We've had everything from custom shoes, custom handlebars, all the cool sensors on the bike. But let me know down in the comment section below what bit of tech was your favourite. Also, make sure to tune in to the Track Champions League racing because the racing is going to be spectacular.